A laborer is a person who works in one of the construction trades, by tradition, manual labor or mansion. In practice the laborers are a skilled trade that has reliability and strength as core characteristics. Laborers are employed in the construction industry such as road paving, commercial buildings, bridges, tunnels, railway tracks. Laborers have all blasting, hand tools, power tools, air tools, and small heavy equipment, and act as assistants to other trades as well such as operators or cement masons. The 1st century BC engineer Vitruvius writes about laborer practices at that time, a good crew of laborers is just as valuable as any other aspect of construction. Other than the addition of pneumatics, laborer practices have changed little. With the advent of advanced technology and its introduction into the construction field, the laborers have been quick to include much of this technology as being laborers' work. Topic: Tools and equipment. The following tools are considered a minimum: hammer, pliers with side cutters, utility knife, tape measure, locking pliers, crescent wrench, screwdriver, margin trowel, carpenter's pencil or soapstone, tool belt and one pouch bag. In addition, a 5-gallon bucket with additional tools, tool belt suspenders, water jug and lunchbox are recommended. Most safety equipment that is consumed or work specific, for example hard hat, safety glasses, hearing protection, gloves, fall protection, high visibility clothing, concrete boots, respirator, dust mask and toe guards are provided by the employer as part of construction site safety. Personal safety equipment, for example full leather boots some long-time laborers believe steel toes are dangerous on the construction site, it is better to have crushed toes than toes cut off by the crushed steel, high-strength pants, carhartt or jeans some modify thighs with a sacrificial second layer of jean fabric cut from an old pair socks, lip balm, and climate-specific outerwear unless laborers are instructed to work in a climate different from what they typically reside in, for example high elevation, are provided by the individual. <laughs> Types of work Some of the work done by laborers includes Concrete, shotcrete, gunite, grouting and steel forms Demolition, concrete cutting, pavement breaking, cutting torch Environmental remediation and hazardous waste Fences and landscaping Street sweeping Hod carrier, block masonry, plasterers and fireproofing Paving, white paving formwork, traffic control, striping, signs Piping, water pipe, sewer and storm drain Field technology Gravedigger Tunnels, drilling and blasting Dry utilities, electrical conduit and communications conduit Loading and offloading handling of physical goods such as furniture, boxes and so forth. Pay As a manual labor occupation, to attract free workers the wages paid to laborers is higher than those paid in general to unskilled workers see dirty, dangerous and demeaning. In the United States, a union laborer earns equal or greater than most work available to anyone with a bachelor's degree. This is one of a few fields where someone without a high school diploma can still earn a living wage. Union, heavy construction and highway construction laborers earn on average $25.47 per hour compared to $13.72 per hour for non-union laborers. In addition to paid earnings, union laborers enjoy the benefits of medical insurance, vacation pay, pension plans, representation and vocational schools, totaling $45 per hour and some with special skills earn wages
It is not uncommon for young civil engineers, construction managers and construction engineers typical salary of $40,000 to $60,000 to fall short of their union laborers' average wages of $50,000 to $80,000. However, unlike engineers, laborers are not usually employed full-time year-round and face significant hazards. The additional pay laborers receive is often balanced out by the lesser unemployment checks they receive while out of work and the disability checks they receive while injured—often debilitated for life. That is if unemployment and injury insurance is provided, which is often not the case. Engineers are also not immune to being out of work. In heavy civil work some are employed on a project basis and mental injuries due to stress are a different but debilitating hazard. Because of the wide range of skills and ability to simply provide muscle, laborers often earn side work as independent contractors and under-the-table work. In construction the pay for laborers is low enough that planning problems can be solved by throwing laborers at it. This can become a toxic and dangerous brew of unplanned work that slides forward on the blood and sweat of hard-working laborers—injury rates often soar. The value of work put in place by laborers and the value of avoided rework and increased efficiencies produced by the engineers' planning is a balance of resource utilization on any large project. Union laborers earn more than unfree labor and can be an avenue for those who are uneducated and with no resources to become educated and with resources. <laughs> <laughs> Hazards and conditions There are dangers associated with laboring. Many laborers are severely injured or killed in accidents each year while performing work duties. Many who work as laborers for even a short period of time will suffer from permanent work injuries such as, hearing loss, arthritis, osteoarthritis, back injuries, eye injury, head injury, chemical burn lime sensitivity, lung disease, missing finger nails and skin scars. Alcoholism, drug use, and drug abuse are common although most companies require drug screening for all new hires. If a laborer is injured on the job they are immediately given a drug test. If the test results are positive then they are ineligible for any workers' compensation benefits. There is a gray area for the use of marijuana due to medical marijuana prescriptions. Some who have been dismissed for failing a drug test while possessing a prescription have been later reinstated with pay as having been wrongfully terminated. The Laborers International Union of North America LIUNA represents laborers on public and private projects. Some of the business representatives are laborers who have been so severely injured they can no longer labor. With a phone call and a good reason they will be on site the next morning asking questions and demanding apologies for mistreatment of laborers. This job, at times, and depending on who is in charge, qualifies for the three Ds, dirty, dangerous and demeaning, or showing global connotation, as the Japanese say at Kitanai, Kikan, and Kitsui. Many other times laboring is a very gratifying job with much fresh air, job site air quality and sunshine. The sheer hardship, drudgery and physical demands of the job ensure that there is always a shortage of good laborers. But, mistakes can be made and laborers have been asked to go forward with ill-made plans. See also Hard hat, nickname for construction workers Navi, particularly applied to describe the manual labourers working on British major civil engineering projects Proletariat, a Marxist category of labourers Northern California District Council of Labourers <laughs>